Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really great Monday thus far. And so of course in this video we'll be taking a look at the latest for the Caribbean and also that expected Gulf low pressure area. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so as we take a look at what is happening across the Caribbean right now, as we look at this infrared satellite, we can see that there isn't too much going on. Uh, there is still some activity in portions of the southeastern part of the basin, though, and uh, that is likely induced in some overcast skies, maybe some brief showers as well across sections of the lesser Antilles, especially the Windward Islands. And as for the greater Antilles, we're seeing here that there is some activity in the area inducing inclement weather across sections of Cuba, maybe even parts of the Bahamas. And as for Jamaica, uh, things are clearing up, but last evening there was definitely some rainfall across sections of the island. But as for the rest of the uh, region here, we can see that there isn't too much happening. Beautiful sunshine this morning for Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, most of the Leeward Islands, and even for portions of the Western Caribbean, those Central American territories. And so, in terms of the rainfall activity as we head throughout this week, let's go ahead and take a look at those maps and we're starting out with the Euro here. So we'll be looking at the Euro and GFS and uh, of course this is the total accumulated precipitation in inches and this is between now and the end of this week on Saturday. So this is not all expected in just one day but between now and then. And so in terms of where most of the rainfall is expected for the Caribbean islands, uh, we definitely see some of those blue shades uh, for the greater Antilles, so Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, and uh, in the Southern Caribbean for the mainland territories there, we can see that a lot of rainfall activity is likely in the vicinity of Colombia. And also, as we take a look to the bottom right side of this map, we can see that Guyana, French Guiana, and Suriname are likely going to be experiencing quite a bit of increased rainfall as well. But for the rest of the region, nothing major expected. But if you look at the Gulf of Mexico right there, there we can see some of those purple shades, and that is likely the rainfall induced by that low pressure area that is expected to develop as we head into tomorrow and uh, it is likely to move inland as we head into around Thursday so we'll be looking at that very shortly but as for the GFS uh, between now and Saturday here we have the model showing something maybe a little bit similar but uh, it is showing a lot of that rainfall activity being offshore of the uh, Gulf Coast taste in association with that expected low pressure area as for the Caribbean Similar to what the uh, Euro was showing, most of that rainfall activity is expected uh, in sections of the Greater Antilles, Cuba, Hispaniola, and Jamaica. So uh, that is what is on the horizon, guys. And as a matter of fact, as we're going to be heading into the end of next week, models have been consistent about a front making its way down. And the euro has been showing something quite interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this is the 24-hour precipitation now. So not the total, but rather the 24-hour precipitation. So we're seeing that quite a bit of rainfall activity is expected along this front as we're going to be heading into next week. And it's really the northwestern Caribbean that is likely to feel impacts from this as it makes its way toward the southeast. However, the GFS is not showing that much rainfall activity be uh, expected for the northwestern Caribbean. So we really just have to wait and see. But of course, as time goes by, I'm going to be keeping you updated. However, let's go ahead and talk about that low pressure area that is expected. So we'll be looking at the latest model run for, again, the GFS and the Euro starting out with the Euro model. And we can see that the model is not expecting a strong system and as a matter of fact it is showing most of that activity remaining north of the center of it now uh, conditions are not highly conducive at this time of year for us to see any major development in terms of tropical cyclone activity and uh, the national hurricane center still has not highlighted an area to watch an area of interest however uh, if they're going to it's likely going to be maybe tomorrow or even later today so uh, i'll be keeping you guys updated on that 
as for the GFS model, we're seeing that it is also not expecting anything major from this, but that rainfall activity could trigger some flash flooding. So even though we might not be looking at a defined system that receives a name, if it doesn't become Arlene, uh, it could still induce quite a bit of rainfall activity that would trigger flooding, guys, especially in low-lying areas. If you're along the Gulf Coast, please take the necessary precautions as you progress throughout the rest of this week and do not take any unnecessary risks. And I also should make mention of the fact that on the surface chart forecast uh, for the next 72 hours as we're going to be heading into uh, Thursday, there we have that low pressure area being highlighted. So pretty interesting. So we just have to wait and see what is up ahead for the next couple of days. But of course, guys, I'm going to be keeping you updated once necessary. And that is pretty much it for right now. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.